In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make some fancy cardstock using paper napkins, saran wrap, and cheap cardstock. The first step is to take your paper napkin and remove all layers except for the top layer that has the design on it. First step is to put down some parchment paper on whatever heat resistant surface you're going to be using. Then put down your cheap cardstock. Put a layer of saran wrap down. You want that saran wrap to be smooth and you want it to cover the entire piece of cardstock. Next, carefully place your napkin in whatever position you're going to want it and put another piece of parchment paper on top of that. Then you're gonna take your iron, set at the highest setting, and you're going to press. You're gonna be holding it down for several seconds on each position. And I've actually sped up this part of the video, and so you're going to be holding that iron down for a lot longer than shown here. Okay, now we're gonna check how well things are sticking and uh, some of the cords are coming up and there's a section there that I didn't have any saran wrap. And so I'm going to put a little strip of saran wrap just under there. And then I'm gonna reheat the areas that are coming up so that uh, I get a better stick. And so here I am repressing for several seconds to try and get the areas that were not sticking well the first time. Okay, and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim down the edges a bit. And you can also use an X-Acto knife and a ruler to trim off the edges. And here we have our 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper. And it's also got a very interesting texture because of the napkin on top. And now I'm going to repress the trim piece just to make sure everything is good and stuck down. And now we're going to repeat this process using another napkin. And we're gonna start with our saran wrap and then put the napkin on top and a piece of parchment paper on top of that and we'll iron it down really good. Then we'll trim off the edges and then we'll repress. Okay, and here is our second piece to go with our first. And I like to store them in record sleeves. These are four mil archival quality record sleeves that I got from Amazon and these hold a large amount of cardstock. I am able to put 75 page packs of cardstock into one of these sleeves. For example, this is a 75 sheet pack of cardstock that I was able to put into one of these sleeves. So they hold quite a bit. And so once these cool down, you can go ahead and just slide them into the record sleeve. And that will protect these until you're ready to use them. And this is how you can put paper napkins onto cardstock to make your own uh, pattern paper that has a very interesting texture. It's, it's more like a fancy paper. And here are some of the results from different napkins that I tried today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.